everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to talk about how cosplayers can prepare for photo shoots. First things first, let's talk about photo shoot basics. Number one, you obviously want to have someone in mind to be your photographer, whether they are a friend or a family member, or if they are a cosplay photographer that you happen to know through your network. Now, when you have found your photographer, you need to make sure that you communicate with them clearly at every step of the way possible. So you need to communicate what ideas you have for the shoot. What character are you cosplaying? What version of the character are you cosplaying? What is that character from? What is their personality like? Maybe give your photographer a little bit of background information about them, or at least give them a reference photo and the name so that they can do their own research for it. If you happen to have an idea for a story-like photo shoot, or if you want a particular shot of something and you found references on the internet for it, make sure you send those to your photographer. I've had a couple of shoots where I've had ideas for it, but I think the biggest one that I did was when I did a photo shoot of San from Princess Mononoke. I told my cosplay photographer friend, Soulful Pareso, that I was like, hey, I have this really cool idea. I want to raise awareness about climate change and global warming through cosplay and photography. So we started coming up with ideas for different shots and we found a location. We went to a location uh, close to where my photographer lives and we went to a forest and we found some areas that looked like they were touched by human hands and so we did a couple of shots there and then we went throughout the forest and we just did a whole bunch of different um, shots and each shot had its own story connected to it. If you are paying your photographer you want to make sure that you have the money up front right away. If you can't pay it in advance of the shoot make sure you pay it at the beginning of the shoot whether it is by cash or e-transfer or check or whatever it is. Most photographers probably prefer e-transfer, PayPal or cash uh, just because it's easier to work with. So make sure you talk to your photographer to see which they prefer. Now for the actual shoot, you are going to want to bring reference photos of your character. That doesn't need to be of your character in that particular outfit, particularly if you are doing a fan art version and you only have one reference photo for that. But make sure you bring photos of your character in different poses. You want to know what kind of attitude your character portrays in photograph form. And you also want to inform your photographer about what kind of poses you want to capture. Talking about poses, you will want to practice some of these poses beforehand. Make sure you practice in a mirror. If you don't have a full length mirror, you can always practice in your bathroom mirror. You can also work on facial expressions in smaller mirrors. Facial expressions often make or break a photo. When you arrive at the actual shoot, make sure that you have a friend with you. Always travel with the buddy system. The friend not only will help you feel safe if you don't know the photographer, but they will also help you deal with costume malfunctions. They will be able to spot if your makeup is a little off and if you need to reapply your lipstick. They might be able to say, oh, your sock is slipping or wait, hold on, I need to readjust your bangs here on your wig. They are super helpful. Not only that, but they can also help the photographer with possible lighting equipment. Maybe they can hold a flash or they can hold a reflector. They can also help with epic cape flips. You also want to bring your makeup kit and a sewing kit just in case something happens. Not only do you want to bring an emergency sewing kit, you also want to bring water. You must stay hydrated because if you don't, you might end up feeling really sick at the end of it. You might have a headache. You might be feeling nauseous. Just bring water. It, it's super helpful. You, we all need water. Just hydrate yourself. Make sure you hydrate. You also want to bring comfy shoes especially if you're wearing really tall heels and you're traveling between different location spots. You want to make sure that you have some comfy shoes that you can flip on between locations. Last but not least for the basic cosplay photography setup, arrive on time. 
it's really important that you arrive to your shoot on time. And if you're running late, make sure you tell your photographer, make sure you are in contact with them. If you are late, that cuts into your time with the photographer. The photographer does not owe it to you to extend the session past what they had agreed with. If you are late, you are losing time on that. And if you don't show up, your photographer is going to be really discouraged and they're probably not going to want to work with you again. So make sure you communicate. If you really cannot make it for whatever reason, let them know. Most people will be totally understanding, especially if an emergency comes up. Now, when it comes to con shoots, you want to keep a couple of things in mind. Most cons are held in convention centers or hotels. And so photo shoot locations are really dependent on where the event is taking place, especially if it's in a downtown core of a city. Oftentimes you're not going to be able to just go out and take photos next to other buildings because there's, you know, you need to have permits for that and that kind of stuff. So just keep in mind that like photo shoots at conventions can be limited in terms of location and setting. Not only that, but the actual good locations for photo shoots at a con will probably be crowded. So you're going to have to wait a bit to access certain locations at the venue. One thing that's super important, don't block hallways or thoroughfares when you're taking photos. Make sure if you are using a hallway that you're using a hallway that is not used as a main thoroughfare and that there's not a lot of people passing through. You don't want to be that person who blocks the way that causes a clog of people on either side. Not to mention that it's not cool to have, you know, a crowd of people in behind your photos. It just... Last but not least, when it comes to photographing at a con, you want to be flexible. And, and not, not like flexible in terms of posing. But you want to be flexible in terms of timing and location. What if you really wanted to take photo in this particular garden? Maybe the garden is under construction and you can't photograph there. Or maybe there's just too many people there at the time that you have your session. You're going to have to be able to make decisions and be flexible with these things. Not only make you be running late, especially if you're at a con and you know, things happen, you get stuck in crowds, your photographer might also be late. So you have to be willing to kind of wait a little bit and again, communicate with your photographer. Always communicate with them. Now, when it comes to location shoots, you want to make sure to dress for the weather. This means that if it's snowing out and it's minus five degrees Celsius outside, make sure you wear layers. Try to find nude tights that are really thick, like those, you know, figure skating tights or dance tights. Try to find nude colored bodysuits or long gloves or whatever to keep your arms warm. Wear layers underneath that you, as much as you can. I understand that certain costumes you might not be able to wear layers so much, but I mean, if you're in a cold climate, make sure you have layers. And if you don't have layers, make sure that you're able to get to a warm spot within five minutes. If it's a really hot day out, you want to make sure that you are able to take off heavy costumes for breaks. You want to make sure that you have someone there to help you cool off. You want to make sure that you bring ice packs, you bring lots of water, just dress for the weather as much as you can. Obviously it depends on the costume, but really try to make sure that you are prepared for whatever weather you have. For a location shoot, chances are you're probably going to be out for a good portion of the day. You might even be doing some hiking and you might have to travel a little bit to get to the spot that you're going to take photos in. Make sure you bring snacks in addition to the water. You're going to need food to keep your energy levels up. And if you are shooting in a location that is owned by somebody else, please make sure you get permission from that person. Sometimes they will be fine with you just taking photos and they won't charge you. Other times they might ask that you pay a little bit of money towards them, sometimes a lot of money to them, and they might have you sign release forms and all that kind of stuff. 
So just call ahead and make sure that you have permission to shoot in the location that you want to shoot. And of course, if at all possible, make sure you scout your location ahead of time. I am personally planning to do a location photo shoot with a waterfall with a costume of mine that is very difficult to move around in and is very cumbersome and is not super comfortable. So I'm gonna be going to a couple of different places throughout the summer to scout out locations to see if it would be feasible for me to get to this waterfall or that waterfall in this costume that is hard for me to walk in. How long does it take me to get there? What kind of scenery is it? How many people tend to be there at around that time? Et cetera, et cetera. Scout out your locations ahead of time. If you can't scout them out, maybe your photographer can, or maybe you can have a friend who can go out and scout for you. So that's all I had for talking about preparing for a cosplay photo shoot. If you had any more that you wanted to add, make sure you mention them down in the comments below. I look forward to hearing your own opinions. Thank you for listening and I will see you all next time. Bye.